Man, fuck Rotten Tomatoes. Chappy likes Chappy. I dug this film. This film was fucking awesome. This to me is the perfect conclusion of the Neo Blomkamp trilogy. I know no one's called it that yet, but there's District 9, Elysium, and now this. I saw this movie with Jerry, and we walked out of the theater feeling the exact same way, which was, what the fuck is everyone's problem with this movie? And then we met a fan named Eddie. What's up, Eddie? I hope that's your name. I didn't walk out saying, I see what everyone's talking about, but some of it's good. I walked out feeling like I had a great movie-going experience. Experiences. The gift from God. So robots are the police force now. AI has officially been invented by Dev Patel, the dude from Slumdog Millionaire. I thought he was like Indian Indian. Does this take place in India? I don't remember where Slumdog Millionaire takes place. I'm about to look like a really good film critic. He creates AI, the first program that will allow a machine to think and feel. And I thought it was gonna become what if the machines rebel against the humans type of movie, but it wasn't that. Like in the first act, halfway through, they throw in some South African gangsters, played by Deant Wood, who I would call Diane Wood. And then a lot of people will call you an idiot. And to those people who called me an idiot, you can go fuck yourselves, okay? I don't want you coming over anymore. Anyway, they're a South African music group. Ninja plays a guy named Ninja. Yo Londi plays a, a girl named Yo Londi. They're not playing themselves. They the writing just got a little lazy, I guess. That's why I was like, okay, this film's kind of taking a different turn. Now, Dev Patel, he has the AI program, but he has yet to install it into a robot. So then he gets kidnapped by the gangsters. They're like, hey, we need you to design us a robot that will fight for us so we can pull off a heist. And Dev Patel, with, you know, he's, he's in dangerous circumstances now. So he's like, I can't do that but I have AI which can program a robot and you could teach it like it's a baby on how to think and feel the way you kind of want it to think and feel. Chappie's played by Charlotte Copley. Copley, there's a lot of words I don't know today. And it's done with motion capture. Like first half of act one was okay. Second half of act one was better, but the time Chappie comes to life, I was just hooked. I had a big smile on my face. I was really just loving this like baby robot. It was awesome. Like Chappie is just adorable. Kind of like when you watch Wally. The body language and the voice that Charlotte Copley, we're calling him Charlotte for today. The voice that he gave was great. He's also like really funny and you really care about Chappie. Like when Chappie's in bad situations, you just feel really horrible for him. Cause he is like a baby they have to teach. A robot baby being raised by gangsters. How can you not call that unique? <laughs> That's fucking weird. You know what he is, right baby? He's a gangster bot. Gangster bot. And then when he becomes 13, Gangster bat mitzvah. A lot of people don't know that about Chappie, but he's really Jewish. You see this like child learn human behaviors and he just wants to fit in. He just wants to be loved. Yeah, actually even thinking about it right now, every moment of Chappie's decisions, even when it's in the darkest of times, stems from a place of love. Beautiful, it's beautiful. It was a unique way to tell an AI story. The film's called Chappie, so how is Chappie? Chappie, best part of the whole film. And if you don't walk away saying, Chappie likes something everywhere you go, you weren't paying attention. Chappie likes camera. I do Asian voice when I do Chappie. <laughs> that is not a South African robot. Then there's this jealous coworker of Dev Patel, played by Hugh Jackman. Hey baby, mm. you know what they, you know what they say when Hugh Jackman jerks off? No, what do they say? Hugh Jackoff. I've seen Hugh Jackman in several films where he's not playing Wolverine. That's right. I have expanded my intellect. I always knew he was a great character actor. Upon introduction of this character, I was like, okay, I've kind of seen him do this before. Just wait a little bit and you're like, wait, I've never seen Hugh Jackman do a role like this before. He is straight up one of the character's main antagonists. He hates the robot police force. He hates the idea of AI and he's ruthless. He's manipulative. He's like every uh, like 15 year old girl's 18 year old boyfriend. 
ruthless and manipulative. <laughs> it could have easily been a one note performance, but you get so much more than that. Like, it's interesting because you actually kind of get where this dude's coming from. And at the same time, his like ruthless, violent ways actually make sense because he's a soldier or used to be a soldier. Either way, Hugh Jackman's built like a soldier. He does come across a little gay in interviews. Really? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Except he's married and has children. <laughs> so I'd be very concerned. What do they call gay Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jack's man off. But who really blew my mind was Ninja and Yolandi. Ninja was the leader of this like small family gang. There's three of them. And he had the like right level of humorous behavior to where you would laugh at him. And then he had this completely other side where he was a really scary person. Like he knew when he could be funny and laughed at, but he also knew when he should be taken seriously. This guy seemed like he'd be in movies for so long. There's like charisma to his performance, there's confidence. He has all the capabilities of being a movie star except for his teeth and hair. Same can be said of Yolandi. She becomes like the mother to Chappie. She's like a tough lady gangster. <laughs> Put him up, sucker. She's incredibly sweet, you trust her the most. It's another three-dimensional performance by someone who you don't normally see in movies. All the character dynamics made sense. All of them were perfectly performed, and it was shot really well. It wasn't shot like District 9 and Elysium where most of it's handheld. There's only some of that in this film. The designs were awesome, especially Chappie, because the whole time you're looking at CGI, but you're not once thinking it looks like CGI. I also love the music. It's like that techno pop rock kind of music. The film is just not the tone and style that the trailers have been communicating. They tried promoting it like it's an action film, but honestly, that's where my problems with the film lie. It's all in the third act. I, I didn't like how they suddenly try turning the finale battle into an action movie. Tonally, it didn't fit. It felt a little forced. It sort of felt like they did that because they needed to sell tickets at the box office. But it doesn't really bother me because there's not a lot of action in this film because it's not an action movie. There's action scenes in a sci-fi drama. But I will say, when the action was there, the, the reasoning for the violence being there actually made sense. In the last 10 minutes is a lot to grasp. I was kind of like, okay, that's a little convenient and that's another sci-fi movie, but whatever, we can, I'll, I'll hop on board for now. Like, I think if the film got like an extra 20 to 30 minutes, it might have been able to set up the ending, but if you guys have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But it is a pretty like, uh, that's, that's, a little, that's a little much. Honestly, in some ways, I felt like this could be a family film. The only reason I don't say that is because, yes, there's a lot of swearing and the violence could have just been cut back a little bit, but there's this one really violent moment. The only reason I will say don't let kids watch this movie is because of this 10 second moment that is so shockingly violent. I was like, whoa, I've been in the theater for like almost two hours now and there hasn't been anything in this movie to hint at how violent this scene was gonna give us. Same time, the, that violent scene sort of made sense. Let me get straight to the point here. All in all, I gotta say, Jeffy likes Jeffy. All right, guys, well, you have just seen my movie review of Chappie. Hope you had a good time. Listen, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. This is Ash the Real Rejects. I need to feel more confident promoting myself. Last but not least, if you want to get updated every time one of my reviews or videos is out, go ahead and click on this button on my dick to subscribe. That's right. The dick. Let me tell you something about this little chap. Every time this thinking and feeling artificial intelligence wants to link up with his woman, he's a lean green pounding machine. <laughs> It's not killing machine, it's pounding machine. Because <laughs> he's a robot.